the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, we've got a good one on tap between the Salt Lake City Elks and the Toronto Mounties. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, we are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Salt Lake City Elks and the Toronto Mounties. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. On first and 10, Bass. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet to throw on third down. Bass. And the throw there going to be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. A big kick that time. 52 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Young. He'll find his man on the comeback route. Complete. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Young on third and two. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Give him six yards in the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. Brushing off defenders. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. You know, I have a pretty good friend, Charles Davis, who tells me that when he sees plays like that, strong runs to the right, reminds him of the 1960s Green Bay Packers. Boy, those were the days back when the fullback actually carried the ball as well as blocked. Then you had a halfback, you had pulling guards, guys who could get out and run, and you can hear the great coach saying it back then. So we get a seal here, and a seal here, and we run this play right in the alley. The play fake, now Young. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line. Hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. On play action, Young. His throw caught at about the five. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. A 22-yard touchdown grab as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. 
An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. So here are our visitors to take over on offense. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good, three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Check, 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 check. To throw again, Bass. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A game there of 30 big ones. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Personal foul, face mask, defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Throwing on first down. Bass. That's complete right around the eight. And here he'll get it down to the seven. The completion good for three and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. And this is going to be intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. On first down, it's McLeod. And a huge play that time. 43 yards on the ground. But yardage wise, he's in the top handful of backs in the league so far this season. A great run there. He's going to love that standing when it comes to contract time. But even more so, his team loves it because he gives them an identity and sets a tone. And he'll get three down of the 34 yard line. Not quite the success they had last play. This one goes for three yards. On second and seven, Young, quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Ready? They'll run it now out of the gun. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Well, maybe a little bit of an anxious moment there as that ball got closer and closer, but it does curl in. Yeah, it actually did a little bit of a slow dance there with the left upright, didn't it? But it had just enough space, as you said, for it to curl in. Yeah, and he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. 
Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. Now a quick throw as that's complete on the hitch route. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on him. Really well done. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. Now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit here. It's a 39-yard attempt, right hash. And his kick is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong lot of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple That's extra yards, up to the 27 yard line. The offense back out there at the line, check, ready check, for their check. next drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Now a man open down the middle of the field. 30, 20, 10, touchdown! A big play there. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And his guys get the quick strike touchdown. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Point after try, forthcoming. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are visitors to take over on offense. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three-point CD. Yeah, if you're into the points-per-drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones not having balls go through goalposts. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. He was looking to get it to Baldwin again. That'll bring up second down. Back to the air on second down. 
Bass. He gets it to Baldwin. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in, and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 26. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. Following the interception, Young. This is caught by Hearns. And he's brought down after a very nice game. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. That throw by Young incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Now they'll run on the draw. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Back-to-back -back stops, make it third and 10. Young now from the 50. Now Young loses the football, it's stripped. Now the defense gonna use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. And on now is the punter as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement down on the scoreboard. Maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with... He's got a man complete. And he will finally be taken down, but not before he reaches the 38. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. From the gun, pass. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Looking to throw. Bass throwing left side here, and it's complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And his kick here is good. And that will do it for this first half. And we will skip the highlight show this week, get right back to this week three matchup. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. So here is the home side to take over on offense. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on 
here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. On second down now. It's McLeod, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Young working out of the gun. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go to the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. That's taken on the 25. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay. These are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Here's a second and seven. It's caught. Baldwin. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Operating from the gun. Bats. This is complete. It's Baldwin. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Second and three. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 24. The 30. Past the 20. And he will have a touchdown. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, Start loosening up. I think I'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is up to 18 now. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. So here are visitors to take over on offense. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this run. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Back to throw. Bass. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive 
knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Looking to throw. Bats. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. On fourth down. Bats. And that is going to be incomplete. The you know, fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And as a result, possession switches hands. Fourth down and they take to the air, which really isn't a major surprise, but how about the coverage they're able to bat it down? They'll run on first down. McLeod. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here on a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march up another 15 against your squad. They'll keep it on the ground. It's McLeod. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. From the 40 now on second down, Young. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Young to throw it. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's going to be about a yard or two short of the first here. He needed the 35, but didn't make it. Welcome back to Toronto. As we are set to bring you the home stretch here, the fourth quarter. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, they can probably live with that with this late lead in the fourth quarter. That's one of the few things that's gone wrong. You're exactly right. This one was well in hand. That kick there was more for cosmetics, you know, to add to their score. Not getting it, that shouldn't harm them at all. That throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Back to throw. Bass, that is caught at the seven. 
And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second. And then his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Able to get there and pick it. And it's a good return here as he'll get all the way up close to the 35. Well, you just kind of feel for him right now. Four interceptions, and you can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the ears. There certainly is, and probably way too much, because now he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game, go to the press conference, meet it head on, and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great sign of maturity. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Young will set to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. And a loss of three to bring up four. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. And that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had at victory. Yeah, long road back from here, no doubt about that one. But let's face it, if you're going to go out there and compete, you want to try and end on a strong note, don't you? Absolutely. It won't end in a victory, like you said, but they can maybe take something positive out of this one. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the... And got his man complete! The 20, 10, and touchdown! A big play there! An 80-yard touchdown! And his guys are able to cut into that deficit. You gotta understand situational football because they're playing with the lead here late in the ball game. So the back defender has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver. Keep everything in front of you, rally up and make the play. Yeah, you would think they had the three score lead. Now it's down to two, but three score lead here late. But they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. Fielded about a yard deep. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32 yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession. That was punt the football, because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing, but control the game offensively. Put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Give him four on the carry, it'll make this a third and about two. On third down, McLeod. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. On first down, it's McLeod. 
Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. On third down, McLeod, and he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. It's a pickup of two, and that's good enough to just about write a finish to this one. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for the home team here, they get back in the win column as they move to 2-1 now on the E.